Hi guys, uh, Royal Tanker back again. Uh, where we last left off, uh, if I remember, we did a small update of my newly upgraded captain from, well, what he was to Death Watch captain, and my new librarian, so I'm quite happy with those. And I'd like to say thank you for the person who left the comment last time. And whoever liked that video, thank you. That's roughly in the right direction where I want to go. Um, I didn't decide what really I wanted to do. But I've gone ahead and I've opted for these guys. Uh, the Devastators, Centurions. Um, just because um, I felt like it's time for them to have their video before we move onto other stuff. And just get them out of the way because there's a little bit to talk about them. About why I've gone for this, more or less. Um, so, first up, this, this squad on the left is the original uh, squad that I had at the start. Um, pretty much. Uh, here's the Devastator Centurion Sergeant. I actually really like the look of him. Just because with the adding of this part here, it makes him more like an Ultramarine Centurion. And what we've got here is the Grav Cannon, uh, with Grav Amp, and I've gone for Missile Launchers. Uh, I mean, I shouldn't have really, because uh, I soon realised that when he fires the Grav Cannons at something, these have to shoot at the same target. So sometimes it's good to have these, but sometimes it's bad. But I actually don't mind them that much. Um, the reason why I've gone for Grav Cannons and Grav Amps is, well, Grav Cannon and Grav Amps. I mean, these things will kill practically anything within reason. Because if I shoot Marines or anything with a 2 plus armor, this thing's going to kill them. Guaranteed. But if I shoot like something like a Guardsman, then there's no real point doing it. When I could use like heavy bolters and hurricane bolters and stuff like that. Um... So yeah, the, the Grav Cannon, as we all know, is pretty deadly. It's, it'll, it's AP2. Uh, it wounds the target on whatever its armor save is. So 3+, plus, 2+, plus, 4+, plus, 5+, plus, 6+. Plus. But I highly recommend if you go for Grav Weapons, any Grav Weapons, don't use them against anything that's 4+, plus armor and above. There's just no point. If you use these on... Things with 3 plus and 2 plus armor go right ahead. So, I mean, I made the stupid mistake of doing this. But what I plan on doing is when I probably get my next pay from my work and stuff like that, I may buy another squad of these so that I have one squad with grav amps, one squad with the last cannons, and then a stock squad with heavy bolters so that I have the option there. But... I really do like um, the way I've done the sergeant. This guy took me a fair few hours to do. Um, but I am really happy with the outcome. I really am. He's, I mean, he is pretty much the basis of what I'm going for with these guys. I really do like what I've done with the tubing. I mean, if you ever, if you ever want to know how I did the tubing here, uh, just leave a comment in the below and I'll reply to you in the best way possible. And... Yeah, just done some gold highlights here and there. I mean, I think the missile launchers I should have done white with black, but I think the red and black looks nice. So that's the Grav Cannon Centurions. Over here we've got... Now, I didn't... I wanted another squad of these, but I didn't know exactly what I want to do with them. So I asked for a few... I asked around Games Workshop, um, my local shop, and they suggested that I get Laz Cannons. Because, in all honesty, I hardly have any anti-tank. So, I've got Laz Cannons. Which, I will freely admit, I have had better luck with these guys than them. Just just because these guys can snipe stuff at range with the Laz Cannons. And if anything dares to get close, they've got Hurricane Bolters. Which, if any of you don't know, uh, it's pretty much uh, the six bolt guns strapped together in real life. But in gaming terms, they're just bolt guns, but they're counted as twin-linked bolt guns. So they'll fire three shots twin-linked. So that's what? Three, six, nine rapid firing. So that's like eight, 18, 18 possibly 
if something dares to charge these. So, and these guys have held out their own in close combat sometimes. Um, but I'm actually quite happy with these guys, just because they've done better than the Grav Cannons. Um, but that's my Sergeant for the Grav ca Laz, Laz Cannons, sorry. Um, so, if you want to know how many points they are, they are in the current rulebook, which is uh, the... 7th or 6th or 7th edition Space Ring Codex. Um, the Centurion Devastator Squad is 165 points on their own. So that's a big chunk of points. So you're pretty much getting three guys with heavy bolts, with twin linked heavy bolters and hurricane bolters, which I really admit is nice. But it's costing you a lot of points just for three bulky dudes. I mean, for 165 points, I could get like. Mm, two tactical squads, possibly. Well, one tactical squad, but you can get a lot more than what you're getting out of these guys. But I've opted for these because these guys are really tough for who they are. Because um, for what they are, their weapon skill and ballistic skill 4, so pretty standard. Their strength and toughness are 5, so they're a lot stronger. So they're practically getting wounded on... <laughs> Four pluses and stuff like that. Uh, they've got two wounds each, so they can survive. The initiative four, they've only got one attack each, so they're not going to really live long enough in close combat. And they've got two, and they've got two plus armor save, so I'm grateful for that. But for points value, with what I've got the setup here, these three guys on their own, I've spent too many points. These three on their own, they're like 270 points, just because grav cannons with grav amps are quite expensive, they're 25 points per model. So I'm spending another 75 points on these three guys alone. And then with the missile launchers on top, they're like 10 points each. So that's another 30 points, so that's about 90, no, that's about 85 points added on to 165. So that's a big chunk of points. Well, these guys, not really much. I'm actually quite happy with the decision I went for these guys because the last cannons are only 15 points, and there's no other upgrades. So, I recommend choosing, if you're getting Centurions, just make sure you know what you want to actually do with them. And check that they are the right points value. Because with this squad, I've just kind of messed it up a little bit. With this squad, I've done it right. So, I plan to like maybe get another squad of these and just have them stock. But also, um, the only way to really get these guys around, in my opinion, is either using land raiders. As a matter of fact, that's the only way you can get them around faster, is using land raiders. Because these guys are very bulky, so they'll take up two troop slots, and they don't really aren't allowed in rhinos and razorbacks. But they do get the special rule where... Uh, if they fire one weapon at something, they can fire all their weapons at it. That's why I, as soon as I saw that, I thought go for grav cannons and missile launchers, just because I felt that that would be really good, until I realised that I would have to get close up with these guys, whilst with these guys I don't have to. So, in my genuine opinion, just make sure you know what you want to do with the Centurions. They're brilliant at what they do, but just make sure you know what you want to do with them. And I highly, 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 highly recommend not going for Assault Centurions. Just because I have had people tell me, and friends of mine, that they are rubbish. They are just bad. You don't want these guys in close combat, ever. They will lose in close combat. Even though you may think that the Assault Centurions will get, like, two attacks or something like that, they won't. They'll just get one attack... Plus one for having a close two close combat weapons and then charge if you get the charge off. So that's three attacks. Which is good, but it's better these guys are at range. Because you get more out of the range stuff rather than close combat. Because I think you only get like maybe one weapons upgrade for, for the close combat. So I really recommend you, if you go for these guys, just know what you want to do with them. Or else you'll probably end up more or less like what I've done here. Which might be okay sometimes, 
but I really recommend just watch where you put the points. Because if you mess up your points, you practically mess up your list. Um, in my next video, uh, it it may be tomorrow I may upload, or th Friday I'll upload. Potentially tomorrow, so just keep your eyes open. Um, if you like this video, leave a thumbs up, it'll be a great help. Uh, leave a like, subscribe down below. Down below? Comment down below uh, of any suggestions you want me to show off. Um, give me a sec. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, just watch where you put your points. That's all I've got to say about these guys is just watch where you put the points. Um, so this is the Royal Tanker signing out and see you all in the next video.